All right, so one thing we did is uh, we've got the continuation of our major scale here. So what I recommend with that shape and the next shape up is to um, start just with going descending, going down in groups of four, and each group starts one note down from the scale, like. And then the, yeah, super bonus would be the alternate picking too, and you can do it in this one too. You know, and find little things like that. But start with the groups of four, okay? Here's the next shape up um, of, of these scales, and you just want to just start to memorize these, okay? Um, you know, we've got this scale, right? So the next one up, you know, we could think of our root still. But here's the shape. I'll just start it right here, this position of it. So before we were going, but now we have this. Silver bells, silver bells. Uh, most Christmas songs are the major scale. Uh, so here's the shape. I'm going to put it on the video here for you to work on. You can hear the root right there. Another Christmas song. Um, Group to four. You know what I mean? Same thing. Some of them are easier to do. This one's particularly easier. Each one of these shapes, there's one string where there's only two notes, and the rest all have three. Okay, so the next thing is the, just making sure you have the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, okay, groups of four with that one sound like this. One, two, three, four. Then the next group is going to start right there. One, two, three, four. And then the next one's right here. One, two, three, four. Then that one. Then this one. And you can take your time with these little exercises. They're just going to be really good, especially if you're alternating the whole time. It'll explode your abilities pretty quick if you get these. And if I'm just improvising, the more of those patterns and things that you're really good at, the more when you're improvising, like in a jazz setting is really what I'm talking about here, um, those, those little patterns and things will, will creep into your phrasing and stuff like that. had a little bit of that in there okay so that's the other thing while I've got this recording I'm gonna 
we just played the A minor pentatonic with the root on the E string. The last scale that we're going to learn for this lesson is the same scale, the A minor pentatonic, but in another position with the root on a different string. And we're just going to go to the next string, the A string. Obviously, the A string's open, but for us, we're going to do it on the 12th fret because this shape is, is a crucial shape. So here's the minor pentatonic with the root on the A string. So the root's right here. And it starts the same way if I have... It starts the same right here. And then one more of the same. And then this is where it gets weird. Middle finger right here. And pinky. And then first and pinky. So here's the scale. Now we can play notes here too. It's just not the root anymore. Okay? Groups of four with that. Ah, too much. Brain explosion. Okay. So, so I'm just going to recap real quick. Here's the recap. Major scale. The next shape of that same scale, all the same notes, but in a different spot on the guitar. Next shape of that scale, another spot on the guitar. Start right here, seventh fret. It's all the G major scale, all of that. Minor pentatonic with the root on the E string. Minor pentatonic root on the A string. Newest thing.